You became a freedom fighter, a journalist term, turned freedom fighter, turned documentarian. Uh, you were eventually detained for six months in prison in Libya. So, so from Libya, how did you end up in Syria and why, why did you go to Syria? Well, to be clear, I, I did not travel to Libya as a journalist. I went with the intention of fighting. Uh, it's been wrongly reported. But after we succeeded in Libya and I saw the effects of our success, I realized that we had to export the revolution to the next country. And, you know, I believe strongly in the cause, so I went to Syria next. Why do you believe so strongly in the cause? And what is the cause? I spent many years in North Africa, the Middle East. I saw how these regimes uh, treat people. I saw the, the effect on society. And it needs to stop. This is the 21st century. Um, you know, and we have people living under medieval forms of government. Some accuse you of being a misguided thrill seeker. I'm sure you're familiar with this. Um, what do you say to, to that? I don't get a thrill from war. It's a terrible thing. Um, you know, it's something that I, that I do with some degree of reservation. Uh, it's, it's not something that I rush into. Uh, I went through years of, of thrill seeking on motorcycles and so on. And that's how I would still get my thrills. Uh, combat's not something that excites me. I'm not into war games or, uh, you know, I don't, I don't take pleasure in it. Shooting at, at somebody's a, a terrible responsibility, but, you know, somebody has to do it. Hey, what are your aims in your next trip to Syria that you're trying to raise money for? I support any effort to bring this war to an end as quickly as possible. And it's in America's interest to do so. The longer it goes on, the worse it'll get. The more division will be in the country, the more, um, you know, extremist foreign fighters were flooded into the country. I support intervention. I support a, a NATO-style air campaign in Syria. It's not going to happen. Um, you know, they're not, they're not getting nearly the weapons or ammunition that they need. Basically, the Syrian-American and Syrian-European community is going to have to donate money, and Syrians going to have to do this themselves. Uh, I don't plan on, on fighting any time in the near future. The time's not right for that yet.